these are uh, finished products. You can see how they glisten in the sun. Really, really nice. That coat of polyurethane makes them uh, makes them nice and hard. You can see they ain't gonna. And that wire is gonna come apart, come undone, come separated. Two little guys here. See how they look in the sun, so beautiful. So beautiful. And next but not last is the 24 point. I clipped off all those silly Easter color uh, zip ties. I still got two of them on there. I still do, as you can see, I still leave that last one on there where it all comes back to the first pin so that uh, you can't unravel it. Because, I mean, if you pull on those wires hard, yeah, you'll be able to pull these things apart. It's just like a, a resin, you know. But um, this is a 20 point, as you can see, it ain't gonna. If you've ever made a 20 point Starship coil before, you know that they slide really easy. But as you can tell, pushing on these there's no there's no sliding they're stiff hard as a rock man you ain't gonna you ain't gonna break this apart you can't pull the wires apart and that's just one little coat of poly uh, it's never gonna fade or tarnish or anything you don't have to worry about that it'll keep it looking shiny that's what they use on hardwood floors for the finish. This is my starship inside of a starship. You can see the uh, the first one I started halfway and then stopped on the fifth and then started a little starship in the middle. Uh, we're using 22 gauge and I think 20 uh, 1 gauge on this. The lighter colored copper is let me let that focus in. The lighter colored copper, the gold color is is uh, 21 gauge and then the the orange copper is the 22 and I got this out of a television screen an old tube television I got the gold wire and this here is the imploder super starship it really turned out nice both sides you can see how I did the same thing I uh, started around the edge, work my way towards the middle, and when I got to the middle, work my way back out again. So it's it's like two chalices, one on top of the other. But anyways, just want to show you how they look now. I didn't take all the ends off of this one because the big black one's on there. I don't think they look bad. I just couldn't stand the stupid pink on here. Not to say I'm not a big fan of pink, but just not on my Starship coils. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, make sure to keep the videos coming. I want to give a shout-out to uh, Mike Powers420 once again for posting those vids up. If anyone ever wants me to post a vid up doing anything, let me know. I mean, I'm pretty... I'm a pretty experimental guy. I don't mind trying something new. I just, the vi a video of making one of these would take so long. I've seen a lot of people, they'll do a wind, start a wind, and then finish it off, and pause it, and start a wind, pause it, finish it off, and then do the next, and the next, and the next. Uh, I still, I mean, you've heard the talk, I just haven't done the walk yet. I uh, still want to do a a, a geo coil and I'll explain in another video what exactly I'm going to be doing there um, basically just going through all the shapes of the uh, geometry starting with the 12 sided working my way in but it's going to look different than a chalice would a little more defined um, anyways thanks for watching